class is in session. This is Professor Ganymede. We have another in-depth analysis game for Lucio, and we're playing on Temple of Anubis. So let's break it down. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. That, that made me laugh. So, I, so you heard me say dope. Why I do that? Because I know that typically on this map, Reinhardt's like to throw out just a little quick fire strike and when the, once the matches start. And so knowing that that was likely to come, I hid behind that. As I move forward, I hid behind that a little little line of sight cover thing. And, and it missed me, of course. I was just like, nope. Because <laughs> I predicted it. Because I know how players play, basically. Okay. Uh, I should probably go switch. I can heal. Six seconds on that. Can't see anything that Ryan shield. Disappointing. Oh, that shit's already gone. Damn it. I moved over there with a chance of trying to heal the people that were pushed up. They, they were really split from the team, but they were way too far away. Um, so I couldn't actually do it. But notice even when I was trying to move up, I kind of moved behind this piece of cover because I already know they have a Bastion, and now I know they have a Roadhog. Should have checked sooner. I probably knew they had a Roadhog in this game, um, which is why I'm just so scared. They, I hate Roadhog. It's so annoying. Oh, we got killed on Lucio. Let's go. All right, speeding. Up for the Bastion, now he's still up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they, my team announced says, "Hey, we should go in." So I just put on my speed passive. I don't want to amp yet. Um, the, the the speed passive is enough. That's fine. It, it is. It, it's like a, a little trumpet. It lets my team know, "Let's go in." That 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 you know, the Lucio has approved that decision to go in. Happy heels. And now because I use my speed passive instead of amping in, um, I have my heal available to support my team. Five seconds on that. Okay. Ha! Skew! Okay, so, man, I hate Rohawk. So, I know how dangerous it is. Notice how Reinhardt didn't really... Like, he didn't really shield for me there. So, I to, in order to keep up with my team, I had to go by myself. I know that there's a Bastion and a Rohawk, so I don't just <laughs> I don't just move like in a in a straight line. I'm like, no, screw this. I like jump, get some elevation, and jump to the side. I prioritize dodging the Rohawk hook that I know is coming. I dodge the Rohawk hook. Now I can move for it. Like, ah, oh, I hate Rohawk. Woo! Nice. Happy heels. All right. So just uh, you know, you guys notice I always call out when I'm amping my heels, so my team knows the when my when my amp is off cooldown, so they know how aggressively they can play. Um, now notice how I approach this area. Um, I approach from elevation. I don't need to be down there with my team. I have other avenues of approach. Like Anna, she can't do what I do. Um, but I can. I can do what I do. So I get up here. Um, especially when my team is attacking the point, you'll see how we play it. But look at this. So getting up here, not only am I isolated from my team, uh, which means it's harder for enemy teams to focus damage to one area because we're because I'm spread out, I can protect myself. I'm confident in my ability to protect myself. And I can actually get a good line of sight to everything going on down here, including anyone I want to heal. But more importantly, this Bastion, who I'm just going to... You'll see. You'll see. Ha-ha. 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 Bastion lit. Ah! Bastion dead. Ah! <laughs> I did his ass down. Oh, see, that's why you don't pick Bastion. Um, so I hunted his ass down that entire time. Um, that's all I needed to say. Okay. 
Ah, what the hell? Come on, come on. Alright, so. You see me immediately getting off of this point. Why I do that is because you see this number here. It says uh, contested, and then it says five. That tells how many people. My entire team is on this point. It takes three people to contest this point at the max at, at, and make it contest or uh, and make it go the. Um, let me rephrase this. If three people are on this point, this point is going to be captured as fast as it possibly can be. Anything above three people is not going to help it be captured any faster. So as long as there are three people on it, I don't need to be there, which means I can be doing other things like trying to get the elevation so I can be safe um, or trying to look out for other people. You know, I don't need to be there, basically. Uh, also, if the enemy is, con is on this point, I also don't need to be there because me being there won't uh, be capturing it because the enemy is contesting it. I can do other things like get to elevation. Um, but there is, oh, you'll see me here. If I stand close enough on this little balcony, hey, I'm actually I actually can't start to contest it. So if you get on this balcony, you stand at the very edge. I fell off here just because my movement was whatever. But um, if you stand at the edge of this, you actually contest it. There's a lot of there's a lot of little spots like that and a lot of maps, and I always like taking advantage of that. What's up? What so, <laughs> that Zenyatta. No, now you're really close. Oh my god. So that Zenyatta just kind of ran in, just trying to contest the point with his ult. Don't do that, guys. Like, no, recognize when the point is lost and back off. Like, he wasn't going to accomplish anything. He was just going to delay for like a few seconds and then die. Not only is he dead, which means he's not around for the next push that we're going to do, but then he wasted his ultimate, which means he's not going to have that very essential ultimate to use in the next fight. Don't do what he just did. That's, that, that's, that's, uh, happy yeah. speed. That's how noobs, that's how noobs behave. That's, that's noobish, noob-like behavior. Yeah. Your hands out. yeah, so now that he did that, we want to take advantage of this. I have speed. I'm like, oh, whoa, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get to this fight as fast as possible. Um, before that guy responds. Yeah, has already been up. Where is the bad thing? Damn. Yeah. Speed, speed. Oh, let's break it. Speed, speed. Yeah. I, I like how I play this. So I see that first of all, Jack Rat was putting fire down on the point, but there were his bombs were on the ground. So what I did was I jumped uh, on the side of the wall and then kinda just got elevation so I wasn't on the ground. And then when I moved up through the path, I did go on the ground, which is, isn't the best way to go. Uh, but then I immediately got on the walls and start using the walls to uh, slide around there. I don't want to be touching the ground. I don't need to be touching the ground. I'm much safer on the walls, especially second. I can bounce around on the walls and make my movement erratic. So if I'm just traveling, if I'm just sliding on one wall in one direction, I'm easy to hit. If the person, if there's a person shooting at me, oftentimes there's no one shooting at me, so it's fine that I'm sliding on the wall. But if they still start shooting me, I can start bouncing on the wall as well, uh, depending on what services I'm on. So that makes me a lot harder to kill. Um, and then, of course, I hear the direct right. Oh, I switch the speed buff immediately. I pretty much do that every time because I want my team, even if the direct right old is chasing someone, giving them an extra, giving my team an extra boost of speed. I think it's thirty percent or something like that. Will allow, will make it so that direct right. Um, you know, tire, rip tire, takes longer to get to him, which gives us longer to kill it. So I do speed every time. Nice. Elevation! Elevation! I like contesting it. So I... <laughs> I love this coffin. I love this sarcophagus. I am contesting from this point. If um if they weren't down there, I would be taking this point from up here. Lucio is awesome. That's why I like Lucio. There you go. No when to back off. And because I'm elevated, not only did pretty much I didn't even take damage while I was there, but then you saw how easy it was for me to back off. I just jumped and I was immediately out of harm's way, basically. Oh, 
Yeah, we can go <coughs> one to those direction. Right is hard with though. Okay, we can go left then. Oh, they're back to the right. We got Bastra. Oh, Up in hills. Almost there. I almost have dead eye. We get destroyed by the junk rat though. Oh, yeah. Do you wanna go you wanna go left? Yeah, we can go left. I'll go. Set up safe. Trojan when you're ready, Greg. Bastard's up. Alright, go, go, go. Speeding. Ah! You see, you see, I didn't just run on the point. I used this uh, little, you know, wall here to jump around, which means that when May started shooting at me, nah, she wasn't gonna kill me. I could break line of sight real easily, real easily. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna fail at getting up here. Okay. <laughs> This shit on point. Oh my fucking god, that. That's that one hit. That was a good out. That was a good out. It, it took them. It took them way longer, uh, a long, a really long time to kill me. Then I got the final hit of that bastard just because I happened to shoot it in this direction. But that was a really good ult. Uh, I saved my. I, I made them waste a lot of damage trying to kill me. And I think my another teammate. And then other teammates of mine. I think this Reinhardt lives. Uh, well, people, we we let, were able to continue to catch test the point because they had the extra health from my shield. I always want to do in depth scrutiny of my ultimates just to figure out whether or not they're good and how to improve upon them. Because a big part of your job as Lucio is to get amazing ultimates. Oh my fuck that animal just went straight for me, dude. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I, I like this because Anna is a very important character. So I actually I saw who was um, spawning. I sped up Anna first, but then I waited for McCree so I can speed him up, and then I got back to Anna. So now I'm affecting both of them. But I want Anna to be there as fast as possible, so that's why I used it on her. Um, so that was just a little little trick, I guess, that I like to. It's just a little small thing, but these small things add up. If she gets back to combat to heal someone faster because I use my speed buff faster, then I'll be, you know, definitely worth it. Instead of instead of waiting to use my my app on both of them. It's the little things, guys. We got to see about Max. Do have it? Don't let her. Happy heals. Okay, so. It's very hard. So, I do waste my, my heal app a lot, healing people who can heal themselves. So, I'll oftentimes, I'll waste my, you saw I wasted my heal app healing that Ana. Uh, I do that on May as well, and I do that on Rohog. I think what I need to do is is try to keep better track of their cooldowns, because I, I have to predict whether or not they're going to use their cooldown on themselves. Obviously, Rohog's going to heal himself. Obviously, May's going to ice block herself. So, I... I think one of the uh, area I can improve on is just keeping track of the, of the uh, my allies' cooldowns just to just to see whether or not I need it because I I, d I don't want an ally to die because I was too scared to use a heal because I thought they would heal themselves I don't want that to happen but I also don't want to waste my cooldown healing someone who healed themselves and made my cooldown useless so I'm gonna have to start paying attention to my allies' cooldowns and how I'm gonna do that specifically is I'm gonna Bring up my HUD, see who's on my team, um, and then p just keep a little mental note. Are they are they likely to use cooldowns that would make it so my amping them would not be necessary, and stop amping you know reactionary you know in, in like instinctively because when someone gets low, I, I, I amp immediately because I want to get be as uh, heal efficient as possible. But I'm gonna have to keep that little mental note in the back of my head. Okay. Now I'm just messing around. There's no point in me doing this. I'm just messing around because I'm waiting for my team to I'm waiting for my team to regroup. 
I could actually be speeding that guy back to combat, but I actually want to be in, around my team just in case that happens. I've been here. So there's, no, there's nothing really for me to do right now. I'm getting around. Getting at the right shield. Five seconds on that. Charge one ready. That's is still right side. Oh, get in there. Happy Hills. I like my positioning here. Just notice how I constantly position. So, I I mean, I, I don't have one-way position. I just position away from combat at an elevated location where I can see a bunch of people. That's the general rule. Position away from combat at elevation where you can see a bunch of people. That's your job. Feeding. Ah, I like that. And then uh, as soon as I hear that diva, oh, I switch to my speed, and I, I even stay in the in danger of that of get of getting hit by that, just so more people can be affected from my speed buff for longer. And then at the last moment, I'm like, okay, I'll get out of the way of it. I knew that wasn't gonna kill me. There, there's no way. Mm -hmm. Three people on point. Yeah. And I call for three people to jump on point because I know that it takes three people to contest it as fast as possible. I should be on the point right now. There you go. In, in the location I was at, um, I could actually contest from up there. You just have to be at the right spot. So that's why I jumped on to add myself to um, add myself to the amount of people contesting. Because there wasn't three people on point, so I want to be that third person. Okay. And we win this round. That's just one round, though. I, I forgot. I think we win the whole game. I don't know. doesn't matter, though. Hopefully you guys learned something from that, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been Professor Ganymede. Thanks for watching. Class dismissed.